Right then, on this video, we take a look at the tram train system in Kassel in Germany. This is a classic German tram train system where the trams run on the DB main line. This system is epic. There's actually three different parts to this tram network. In the centre of the city, there's a typical city street running tram system. Then, over on the south of the city, there is a tram train system which feels a bit more like an express tram, where a railway route has now got trams running on it, and there's some very interesting triple interlaced track at the tram stops. But, before we take a look at that, we're first going to take a look at the third part of the tram system, which is over in the north of the city, which is the tri-mode tram train system, where the trams run alongside the DB main line trains. On this part of the system the tram trains run at 60 miles an hour. This is a tri-mode system meaning it has three different power supplies for the tram trains which are the tramway voltage of 600 volts DC overhead wires, the DB mainline voltage of 15,000 volts low frequency overhead wires, then there's also the diesel electric parts of the route where there's no electrification. But even though this is a tri-mode system all of the tram vehicles are only bi-mode vehicles meaning that some vehicles are only able to run on the tramway voltage and DB mainline voltage while other vehicles can only use the tramway voltage and diesel electric mode. There's no vehicles that can use all three power supplies. Another thing that's very interesting about these vehicles is these are fairly modern vehicles with a fairly modern style VF drive running at high pulsing. Yet despite it being high pulsing, the VF drive runs entirely in pattern mode. It doesn't run in pure PWM mode, meaning it's a bit like a high pitched version of the Holic VF drive. Quite unusual for a modern VF drive to sound like it. Let's first take a ride on a tram train running on the DB main line. Let's ride it.
And now let's take a ride on the other tram train. This one is identical apart from the fact it's the other type of biomode system. This one runs on the diesel electric routes. Let's ride it. And at this point, the diesel electric tram train now runs on a section of route electrified with the 15,000 volt DB mainline voltage. But as there's no tri-mode tram trains, this tram train that runs on the diesel electric routes can't actually use the DB mainline and has to stay running on diesel generator mode, despite the fact there's overhead lines here.
the northern tram train system part of the route complete, let's now take a look at my favourite part of the route, which is the southern tram train system, which feels a bit more like an express tram than a tram train. This route is very interesting as it's running on a former railway route which doesn't appear to have any more DB mainline trains running on it. It seems to be just exclusively trams now. But at the tram stops something very interesting happens. There is triple interlace track. So let's take a look at this. The middle part of this track, so the bit of the track that's completely straight, is there for the DB mainline trains to use. Although these rails look a bit rusty, like there hasn't been any DB mainline trains down here for a long time. Then either side, you've got the left and right side platform parts of the interlace track. This is because the tram trains have a smaller width compared to the DB trains. So they have to move slightly to the side to serve the platforms. Interestingly, even though this is effectively a single track, there's platforms on both sides for both directions. This would make sense if the tram train was unidirectional as it would only open one side but the tram trains are actually bi-directional. This part of the route runs a completely different model of tram train and this runs at 50 miles an hour but it has faster acceleration than the others and when I filmed this tram train the driver was crazy fast. It was epic. Look at that junction, triple interlace, you've got middle one for mainline trains not stopping at tram stops, you've got two separate bits of interlace going either side, so the trams get closer to the platform, but the platforms have to be far apart because the mainline trains are wider. Such a weird junction.
finally, let's take a look at the city tram part of the route, the part of the tram by running regular trams in the city centre. This part was not so interesting. Thank you. 